Well, it's time again to recap the latest news from the solar industry compiled by the American Solar Energy Society. I'm Jay Warmke with SolarPVTraining.com, and this is the news from the solar industry for the week of April 28th. Well, the Biden administration just announced release of about $7 billion, which is part of the EPA's Solar for All program. Now, this money is part of a bigger fund of $27 billion that was allocated as part of the, um, the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act, which allocated this money for greenhouse gas reduction. Now, the money is focused on supplying solar energy to low-income and disadvantaged homes. Now, they're hoping that this will result in about 900,000 homes receiving solar energy uh, over the coming years. And the Biden administration anticipates it will create about 200,000 solar, residential solar jobs over the next couple of years. A coalition of solar panel manufacturers has filed an anti-dumping petition with the U.S. International Trade Commission, as well as with the U U.S. Department of Commerce. Uh, they cite illegal trade practices where panels imported from Cambodia, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Thailand are being dumped into this market. Now, about a year ago, the U.S. Commerce Department um, ruled that Chinese manufacturers were circumventing tariff requirements by channeling these panels through those nations. Uh, but the Biden administration put a two-year moratorium on the enforcement of these tariffs in order to build up the, um, the U.S. manufacturing capacity. Because currently about 84% of all of the solar panels imported into the U.S. come from those four Southeast Asian nations. Now, the coalition who has filed this petition argues that this moratorium has allowed China to build up their manufacturing capacity worldwide and also specifically within the United States. In fact, uh, reports show that in 2023, about 25 gigawatts more panels were imported than were installed, which has built up about an 18-month inventory of solar panels in anticipation of these tariffs being reinstated and the industry facing higher prices for panels. Venture capital often chases the shiniest little investment uh, toy that's out there, and apparently that's no longer solar. In the first quarter of 2023, which was about a year ago, venture capital invested about $2.1 billion in solar firms. Well, this year in quarter one, that had dropped 80% to just over $400 million invested by venture capital in solar. Investors cite uncertainty about interest rates. They're worried about perhaps increased tariffs on panels coming in from China. And there's also citing concerns that the administration may change, and of course solar policies would change with them, with the upcoming presidential election. Now this drop in funding has occurred despite the fact that solar continues a record uh, growth with um, increased installations within the U.S. Batteries are becoming an increasingly important part of our transportation system with the adoption of electric vehicles, but they're also being installed on the grid as an energy source. Now, a report from the International Energy Administration reported that battery deployment on the grids more than doubled in 2023, and EV batteries grew about 40%. Uh, worldwide in distribution with about 14 million EVs sold worldwide. The cost of lithium ion batteries continues to fall. In 2010, it cost about $1,400 per kilowatt hour. Well, that's fallen 90% so that in 2023, the price is about $140 per kilowatt hour. Prices are expected to fall even further, falling about 40% by the year 2030. Now, according to this report, it says then that um, batteries on the grid will actually be cheaper than natural gas peaker power plants for meeting um, increases in demand, and that solar plus storage will become the least expensive option when um, creating new generating supply. And solar passed coal for the first time uh, within the great state of Texas. 
Now, coal share fell to about 9% uh, this past month, with solars rising to over 10%. This according to the Regulatory Commission for uh, Texas, known as ERCOT. Um, in 2017, uh, solar only accounted for 0.6% of all of the generating capacity on the Texas grid. And now, just six years later, it's risen to over 10%. Uh, ERCOT estimates that by the end of this year, solar's um, portion will grow an additional 30% before year's end. And that is the news from the solar industry for this week. We'll see you next week.